Hello, hi, how are you today? I hope you're doing good and they have been having things happening because we're at the mid-year point and there is just so much going on. The energies are up and down and let's just talk about it. You know, I had my awakening years ago and I just sometimes feel stuck and I don't know what to do. Oh, you know it. I don't even know what to do sometimes. I know what to do. I'm here to help you with some of the what to do, how to do it, how to stay on track, how to get yourself unstuck. So let's get right into it right now. So what I wanna let you know is this is um, my latest book. I am writing the books that I wish were out when I was first awakening, but that was years ago and more and more people are going to be having these experiences. The most recent experiences won't look like the ones years ago but there are commonalities and I wanna make this concise and focused. So let's get into what is the meat here. In here, I am calling this your Twin Flame Foundations. There are basic things that you need to know and do. What are some of those basics? Well, first of all, you have to know certain things like how to breathe, how to get your light body open. But it's seeded in me. Yes, the seeds are there. The seeds of greatness are in you. The seeds of greatness are in you too. But guess what? You have to let the inner meet the upper, okay? And that's how it works? Yes, it is a proactive thing. You have to be proactive. But in doing the work, well, what does your work consist of? Um, I watch videos, I pay attention to the energies, I try to cut cords. Well, that's not bad work, but there's much more. There is much more than meets the eye, and this is why sometimes people feel like they've hit a wall, okay? They could be cruising along, and let's depict the wall like this. They're cruising along, they hit the wall, and it's baffling to their head, and not only is it baffling, it's exhausting sometimes. You don't have to figure it out as much as maybe follow some instructions that are easily outlined here. So what does this include? Well, first some background information so that you know you're not alone, so that you can feel confident that some of the things you're going through are actually part of this process. And you can distinguish what is a part of the process, what can you do about it, how to do it. Because I'm a firm believer in teaching people how to fish so that they eat. In other words, if you don't give people the how-to and show them, they're gonna be lost again. Most people learn in all those ways. They need to hear it, see it, touch it, feel it, and experience it. That is what I pride my work in, is that it's creating actual experiences that you learn from and that it empowers you, like in a true sense of empowerment. Types of awakenings, okay? There are several major types of awakenings. Not everyone is awakened the same way, and not everyone will be awakened the same way. And even in a coupledom, you will not be each awakened the same way. For one of you, it could be one way. The other one, it could be the other way. And sometimes you can sense this, and sometimes you're left wondering. But I do talk about the types of awakenings, the stages that you go through, and then the phases within those stages. There's a a lot of phases you can go through and it becomes very noticeable. I break it down for you so that you can see what the characteristics are and that you know that you're kind of on track. It's not where you want to be, but it is a part of the process. You mean the phases I could go through, like these things that people just call like work the process? It's an actual phase, yes. And there are several phases and they go in cycles. They're outlined in here. So stay tuned, there's more. Okay, the phases you will go through, how to identify it. There are certain characteristics to these phases. It could be everything from a food phase to a I can't do this anymore phase and everything in between. The other thing in my book is multidimensional twin flame body sensations. You may feel like I was saying, she's moving right along here, she hits the wall and she could feel like she is not really getting anywhere. But the ascension doesn't stop and nor does her body process, the new body process of the need to be proactive. 
So whether or not in her mind she feels like she wants to give up or in her mind she starts questioning, is that really the person? Is it like what's happening? Why am I feeling this way? Why should I be discouraged? I've gone this far. Why do I have to be dropped on my butt? Yes. And you're absolutely right. Honestly, it's like I am going along here and I feel like someone is kicking me and not making me move forward. Well, guess what? You have to move upward. That is one of the clues which I'm going to give you right now. How do you do that? My work makes it easy to do because it is literally twin flame body work. So you feel sensations. Also, ascension in other levels. There are multiple levels that you need to get to. Your ascension is important because, not because of the planet, although that is a part of it. There's a lot of people going around saying, Mother Earth is angry or we've wounded the Earth. There are things that are a part of ascension so that you can get to the level to be able to not just withstand, but to be able to maybe do something productive. It's not on, you know, one person's shoulders. It's on everyone's shoulders to maybe just do your part, do that one thing. But how do you know what that is? until you are really ascending in other levels. What are those other levels? Well, it's in the book because there are multiple other levels. Usually one of you gets there first and you have to hold steady while your other gets there too. How do you do that? Ah, we go into what is your daily routine? What should that look like? The suggestions, the instructions, how to do this. I've gotten that question really over in earnest over the past year. Years ago, people didn't really ask. Now they are asking, what should I do? I Because I still have to work. Yes, I've got a job. I've got a responsible job. Like, how do I fit this all in? My instructions and the daily routine will help you to know how to fit this into your life so that you're doing it, you're staying on track, you're staying focused, and you feel good about it. You don't feel discouraged, and you can get your other stuff done. And yes, it has to be a lot of me time where you are simply setting up your schedule for yourself, but it benefits everyone around you, including your job. Open your crown chakra. Why is this important? You actually have levels because of the ascension and other levels that your crown needs to have access to. Now, that's a part of your intelligence. That's part of your... It's other things too. It enhances your personality. It makes you wittier, sharper. It helps you get rid of that brain fog. It helps you get rid of all those like things where you walk into a room and you can't even remember why you walked into that room. People attribute that to hormones, but sometimes it is tied to your ascension. The next thing, channel opening through twin flame breath. Twin flame breath is different. And I'm gonna tell you why. It opens and it brings the mantle of your higher light body to descend over you and draw you up into it. That is the biggest difference between other forms of breath. You're not doing this. It's not like that. It's not yoga breath. That can prime your physical body's tissues. But the other piece of it is you have to be able to do this so that the channels open they stay in an open to maintain state and that those channels are nourishing the inner parts of you. How do you get the daylight in on the inside? How do you get the light and the love? It is through your channels. Okay. And the other thing that I have in here is how to commune. What is communing? This is the word I use because that is truly what it is. It is a communion with your own soul. It's not religion communion. I was raised Catholic. It's not the body of Christ, piece of bread, or something else. It is the truest sense of the word where you are having a wordless communication and you are enveloped and you are literally knowing that you are up connecting to your own soul at different levels. In here I talk about the levels, what they are because as you continue with doing this work properly, you get to those levels and it's delightful. It is passionate. It is healing. It is infusing you with energy. You will feel younger. These are the things that actually do that for you. And not only you, 
it does it for both of you. You mean whoever I'm connected to, it begins to help them too? I don't even know how to contact that person. Yes, you do. Your twin flame won't call you. You can't get any communicate. Guess what? Learn how to commune. You will get a lot of it. And you will get messages. And you'll have delightful dreams. And you will be priming yourself for much more. So I hope that this is helpful for you. Again, this is... Uh, one of the books that I've been in the process of writing and it's available now. Please look at the link below. It's available on my website at Twin Flame Reconnection or join my webinar. I always have a series of webinars. If you join my webinar, you will receive the book at the end of that webinar, which can help keep you going. So I hope to either see you in my webinar. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. And I also have many materials to help you with all of the topics that come up. Everything from anxiety to foods to how to do this to your daily routine to multidimensional, wonderful, fabulous passion. Don't let anyone kid you that this is not passionate. Oh, I have not had passion in my life for a long time. Me either. I don't even know if that, I know what that looks like. When you experience it through this, you'll know and you'll never want to go back. You'll only want to go forward. So thanks so much for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, um, and share my video with others that you think it could help. Thanks so much. Bye now.